Welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Brothers Brawl, the Subspace Emissary Unique Co-op. What am I thinking? Yes, this is another fifth episode, so that means I have another guest commentary or commentator with me. Say hello, Mets and Giants Level 11. Moo. Moo. <laughs> you know, that is good enough for me. Yeah, I guess it's good enough. You know What's what? What's up, guys? He's here with me. He's a he's a loyal viewer for the most part, and I've been watching his videos a lot lately. So uh, I asked him to commentate, and for some reason he agreed to it. So I, I feel sorry for him too, folks. <laughs> and that's my boy using Ike right there. Yeah, I don't. To be honest, I don't really use Ike or Marth because I know nothing about Fire Emblem. I know nothing about these characters. Ike is probably my best character at all. Really? Yeah, a lot of people that I brawl with, they usually they usually like to pick Ike. I've noticed that. Everybody loves to pick Ike because he has like this one move that's an instant kill if you screw up. Yep, uh, I, I believe uh, it's holding B with the GameCube controller, holding 2 with a Wii Remote, and I can't think of what it is for the classic uh, controller. That, like, I'll be trying to recover, and I think that's what, what they really do is up, up B, that, that move, and... Anybody oh, caught uh, off the ledge. Sword in the air. Yeah, anyone caught off the ledge gets pulled down to instant death. That's what I'm talking about, I think. So if you notice here, I'm doing a unique co-op, which is very, very difficult to do. I don't know what I was thinking, but jeez louise, this makes things harder. That's so, what makes you unique. Well, thanks, but I think I just screwed myself over with this LP because <laughs> it gets harder later, trust me. It's oh, I get so frustrated. Like taboo. Yeah, it's, it's just so difficult to keep track of the characters, so I'll be focused on one character, and inevitably another character is just going to get the crap beat out of them, because I'm not looking at them. Yep. <laughs> well, whatever. I've, I've committed to this, so I'm going to see it through to the end, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Well, the good part is, is that with Player 2, it'll, it'll be like sort of like just teleporting by your side. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, when, you, when I press the start button, the nice thing is he automatically teleports to me. Except in a boss battle situation or a battle situation, then it doesn't work. Then I am screwed. Yep. Anyway, it's kind of ironic. Uh, Nintendo Gamers One commentated with me in Part Five, and I was playing as these exact same characters. I was with the Fire Emblem characters in Meta Knight. <laughs> oh, was that with the first section when uh, Marth is basically all by himself in the yeah the uh, the, battle, the Battlefield Fortress? Have you gotten yep. to that part yet in your LP? I can't remember. Um, I believe yeah, I did. Like, can I think, you, have I think you I'm a little that? past it. Okay. The episode that's waiting by is uh, with uh, with Yoshi and Link. Okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Um, I'm not sure how many parts this LP is going to go, but from what I've I've, I've recorded thus far to parts um, 15, and it's, it seems like I'm already over halfway through the game. Of course, I'm making the episodes pretty long. Yep. So it may just go about 30 parts, I think. I hope mine can be done in like that much, because Galaxy is taking me forever. Yeah, just watching your Super Mario Galaxy 2 has me itching to LP that game so bad. You have no <laughs> idea. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I'm going to start with Galaxy 1 first. Then, uh, I wish I actually would have done that, but I didn't have Galaxy 1 then, and then a good friend of mine, he gave me his Galaxy 1 because he said he didn't like it. How can you not like it? That's weird. He gave it to me for free, so I wasn't going to argue with it. Okay, well, I wouldn't argue with it either. That's true. But, uh, see, I've been playing Mario games since since I can remember having memories, to be honest. My first Mario game was the original. I, uh, the first one I remember playing is, excuse me, um, Super Mario Brothers 2, which is really a Doki Doki Panic, but... I never played like any of those. I, like the first game that I ever played, like when I was like born, when I was like five years old, uh -huh. me and my dad used to play like the NES, and we just played like uh, New Super Mario Bros, like uh, the Super Mario one, and then uh, Punch Out usually. Okay, I actually never played Punch Out, I don't think, but I I grew up with all the classic Mario's, you know, NES, Super NES, Nintendo 64, GameCube, and here's the Wii. GameCube is probably my favorite console from Nintendo. I that just love a, it so much. That is a good console. I like it. A lot of good games came from that. Yep. Pikmin, uh, Pikmin mm -hmm. Marathon, Thousand Year Door, uh, Melee, Double Dash, many more. Yep. 
See what you're doing right there? That was basically the ultimate move. Yeah, that was epic failing there earlier because <laughs> I was getting beat up, so I just got my revenge, held B, and just struck him. Of course, I did it with Marv. Uh, but anyway, like I said, it's so frustrating. Yep. Uh, I thought they made Marv underpowered in this game because I thought in melee he was really overpowered, like uh, Link was. Probably I don't uh, I don't use these characters much. I know Marth's sword play is faster than that of Ike's or Link's, but he's supposed to be weaker. So yep. The trade-off I guess is just faster. So whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't care for this stage very much. I just get frustrated here. I like to play as characters that I play as you know, which is my mains are mainly like Mario or Link. Um, sometimes Kirby. I play as Yoshi a lot. Ness. One of those characters. I really want to start using characters other than Ike because I, the only thing I used to use when I first got this game was Ike, like constantly. <laughs> well, that's okay. In the, in the first Super Smash Brothers, all I would use was Link. Yep, and I just do uh, up and B like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, so um, <clears throat> or something I was gonna ask you, I forgot it. Go you, me. you might want to get that sticker. Oh, never mind. I, ha I have everything already in this game. It didn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. That was a pain in the butt to do as well. Jeez. Like going for all the subspace emissary trophies. Like throwing the trophy stand to catch them all. God! <laughs> I did it, but I never, ever, ever want to do it again. Yep. Mm -mm. And I especially never want to do boss battles in intense mode again either. You might want to use some stickers to get, like, your stats boosted. Yeah, I, that's something I did not explain earlier in my LP. You can power up your characters with these stickers you find, just so you know. I'm I'm not going to demonstrate that. It's sort of self-explanatory. You know, you can figure it out yourself. And most everybody, most everybody knows that already anyway, so that's why I haven't demonstrated that. Player 2 shouldn't have taken that. I didn't mean for him to. Sometimes I want player 1 to take it, but player 2 grabs it. It's a crap. <laughs> Selfish. Yeah, it happens all the time. It happens more than you think. So here I'm just kind of... See, I did not practice this LP before I started it, so I didn't really know what I was getting into. I never really practice, like, for my LPs. Like, oh, really? maybe for, like, the last boss I'll practice a little, but not much. Uh, I generally like to try and practice a little bit so I know what I'm doing, so... Yeah, just so people know, I do practice a little bit, but I did not get the chance to practice this one. And I'm, this is the first time I've tried doing two-player co-op by myself, so I'm really just winging it here. So you see me epic failing sometimes. Mm -hmm. Ah, well. And these are these videos are definitely longer than what I'm used to, because I usually try to keep it under 10, but you know, since YouTube has allowed me to go over 15 minutes, you know, I think I've been granted that even before I started doing Let's Plays, which was weird. Really? Well, I think you've had your account probably for a while before you started making videos, didn't you? Yeah, um, I, what I used to do, like, originally, before I even wanted to yeah. start doing Let's Play. <laughs> fell there. See, I had no chance. I thought I barrel was going to catch me, but it didn't. It wasn't there for me. It had no safety net. <laughs> so whatever. Now we're with Meta Knight. <laughs> But I never, like, when I first started doing videos, like, I just did, like, random stuff that I could find on the internet. Like, if you saw, like, my most viewed video was just, like, the most randomest stuff. Like, I used to be a total drama fanboy. Interesting. Well, <laughs> I, I started the LPs back in June with a, with a friend, but he since bailed on me. He didn't want to be part of it anymore, so I've been going solo ever since. <laughs> so, whatever. So, my account's still pretty new. I'm... I believe it's June 15th is when my, the account was created. And the reason why we chose Eat More Pringles 2004 is because my nickname in high school was Pringle. And my, my friend was a really huge fan of Chick-fil-A. He, he eats at Chick-fil-A a lot. So, and one of his email addresses is Eat More Chicken something something. So we just kind of combined those names so it turned to be Eat More Pringles. And the 2004 is the year we graduated high school. So that's the, lo so that's the logic behind my name. Well, sure. 2004, that was when I was still learning my ABCs. Yeah, I told you I'm an old fogey. <laughs> and that one, I think you're friends with this guy, but that one guy called me a fat uh, thing, saying, don't eat more Pringles, and I'm like, what? Oh, that's, my, like, that's my friend Jimmy E212. Yeah, that's what I, I thought, I thought. It's like, what? I'm not fat. <laughs> <laughs> 
he goes up to random people and just calls them trolls. I know, I noticed that. I was like, why is he doing that? <laughs> what I guess it's kind of funny now, but when I was, you know, I was reacting that video, I was like, I just get trolled? <laughs> why? <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> I didn't understand, but I guess now I understand, so now it's funny. Yep. So tell him I said hello. Alright. I should call him right now, but we're doing a dual com. I don't care if you call him. Alright, then I'll call him up. He's probably playing, like, Xbox or something, though. We got, like, three minutes, so <laughs> hurry yeah, up. Yeah, I guess I'll hurry up. Say, you bastard! No, I'm kidding. I won't All say right. This ought to be fun. We're not even talking about the game much. Sick trophies. Yeah. Trophies and stickers I don't need. Come on. You better answer. answer. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Man, what he stole his Graham Graham's house. Okay, I was about to say, what kind of loser doesn't answer their phone? I'm just kidding. forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nice. Awesome. We will not hear from Mr. Jimmy. Yep, we'll try to get him another time. Oh, well. We got the old lady. <laughs> oh, jeez. I... Well, actually, I'm getting to control as different characters now. There's Pokemon Trainer and Lucas. I... I, I stopped being a Pokemon fan, like, in 1999-2000, so... I stopped being one about two... Two to three years ago? Yeah, I was a Pokemon fan when I was about 12 or 13, when, you know... They first came out, you know, blue version, red version, and that's when I was crazy about it. First gen stuff. Ever since, nah, I don't care much anymore. Yep, that was basically when I when I just born, I think Pokemon started coming out. I was born in 97, so okay. it was probably around there. Alrighty then, and uh, I have always wanted to play the Mother games, or aka Earthbound, but I don't think I'll ever get the chance. I hear they're really, really fun RPGs. Never tried them either. Yeah. I know Mother was only released in Japan for the NES, then Mother 2, aka Earthbound, was released for Super Nintendo, but it's pretty rare. Does and my stomach keep coming up on the iPod? Your stomach? I think my stomach's growling. I don't know, I thought I heard something later. It was like war, or something like that. I don't know, I'm kind of hungry too, I'm kind of craving Waffle House. I might just go find some cookies. When my girlfriend gets here, I'm so going to Waffle House. I'm dragging <laughs> her over there. You ever gonna have your girlfriend in any of the videos? Yeah, she's commented a lot, a, a couple of times with me in the videos. Um, a little bit in Sonic 2, and she commented with me in the last episode of my Sonic 3 and Knuckles LP. Hmm. Um, I might have to double check because uh, I try to watch everyone's videos, but there's like a bunch of people that keep telling me to like watch their videos, so it's kind of hard. Yeah, I I do the best I can. If people watch my videos, I tend to try and watch their videos whenever I have the time. But there's just so many people. I try to get to everybody, but sometimes I'm simply not able to. It's hard being famous. I'm not famous. <laughs> <laughs> get a few dozen views if I'm lucky. Yep. I'm an underdog. But I guess that'll do it for now, so thank you very much, Mitz and Giant Slower, for commentating with me in this video. You're welcome. Always a pleasure. Alright. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye. bye.